So, do you want to be a red dragon in the Forgotten Realms? Red dragons are powerful and avid creatures. They hold extreme amount of treasure and they act mostly as they like as they are some of the most powerful creatures in the Forgotten Realms. I quote from the wiki. Red dragons, referred to by sages as Draco, Conflagratio or Ribolith, and sometimes flame dragons, fireworms and mountain dragons, were a breed of chromatic true dragon. They were covetous evil creatures interested only in their own well-being, vanity and the extension of their treasure hoards. They were supremely confident of their own abilities and were prone to making snap decisions without any forethought. The largest and most powerful of the chromatic dragons, and, the, and just the worst, not counting Tiamat, red dragon were also the most fearsome and cruel. These dragons delighted in ruin, death and destruction. They breathed a cone of fire. In countless lands, they were considered the archetypical villainous dragon of legend and fable. Exemplars of all of the most notorious traits and the red dragons thought so too. So, what we know is that they are extremely dangerous, full of themselves and impulsive, because they can be. In other words, until everything is going well, being a red dragon is probably living in bliss. You are the most powerful creature around, everyone has to follow your rules or pay the consequences. And you probably quite enjoy it when there are consequences. Don't forget that you are probably evil. The red dragon that I think about when I imagine of being a dragon is... Tenvershad. A red dragon allied with the Dwerga, wards from the Underdark. He lives the life. He hits the furnaces and in exchange he has slaves, entertainment, food, anything he desires. And that's just because of the usefulness of its powerful breath attack. He is also scheming to gain even more power in the city he lives in. Oh, and yeah, he made a cameo in the last Dungeons and Dragons movie. There are also some other added bonuses. You can fly, which is always cool. You can eat pretty much whatever you want as your stomach is incredibly effective. And you don't need others to be satisfied with your life. But there are things dangerous even to a red dragon, and red dragons tend to encounter them pretty often, at least from what I know. The first on my mind when speaking of something that would trouble a red dragon is other dragons, especially other red dragons. You see, dragons tend to be extremely territorial and defensive of their hordes, and red dragons tend to invade other dragons' territories as a consequence of their greedy and arrogant mindset. So there's always the risk you might find yourself fighting a stronger red dragon. For even if you are extremely intelligent, you are also impulsive and greedy beyond measure. You might also want to steer away from gold dragons. In fact, I think gold dragons are the nemesis of red dragons. They are also powerful dragons, and also powerful spellcasters, and they are usually good nature creatures that come in direct contrast with your mischievous actions. If you are going to survive all this though, you are granted millennia of lifetime and the possibility to become so powerful that almost no one can take you out. So I guess if you want to be a big player, <clears throat> red dragons are wonderful candidates. If you can't get over the tendencies, I personally cannot. I wouldn't want to be a red dragon. Mostly because I think of myself as a good natured person, and honestly, I don't want to change that. But what about you? Would you like to be a red dragon? I guess it all boils down on how much you're willing to sacrifice others' sake for your own. And if you are the competitive type, because as we discussed, there's a lot of competition happening in Red Dragon's world. If you like the idea of being a Red Dragon, you must also like to take risks, because unless you are lucky like Tembershad, there's going to be a lot of risks involved, with a high pay for certain, but since the moment you are burn, born, there's a target on your back and probably nobody likes you. 
I want to point out that there might be some exceptions towards you being on the evil spectrum. But we are, not, we are not discussing them in this video. This video is about being your stereotypical average red dragon, mostly. So, what do you say? Is the life of a red dragon the kind of life you want to live? Leave a comment down below and let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!